everything about the show this year is is bigger. Bigger, yeah. What was it about Runaways that really drew you to it? Uh, I fell in love with Brian K. Vaughn's comic the first time I read it. I just hadn't seen characters written that way in a comic book before that felt so modern and real and funny. And it just drew me in immediately when the book first came out. Uh, years later, when we heard it was available for TV, I brought it to staff and said, I think this one will speak to you. Yeah, and it really did. I loved the diversity of the characters. I loved that there were four girls and two guys. And I loved the voice. Um, it felt so modern and had so much humor and heart that uh, it was really exciting, the possibility that we might be able to bring it to life. What makes Runaways different from some of the other Marvel projects you work on? Well, it, it really comes down to the fact that it, it's a show about kids, uh, and, and they are kids. They are 15, 16, 17, 18 years old. Um, you know, they haven't graduated high school yet. Um, and, uh, you know, when you compare that to our other shows, you know, with the exception of Cloak and Dagger, um, they're adults. You know, at the end of the day, Matt Murdock and Jessica Jones, I mean, their, their lives may not be going the way that they want to, but they know what they're doing tomorrow. They have a job that they have to go to. They have a place that they live. All of those things exist. Our kids are, are dealing with something on a very basic level, which is what are we going to do tomorrow? In season one, we got a little taste of everybody's abilities. Mm -hmm. How is that changing for season two? Well, the kids are learning a lot more about their powers and they're mastering them, which means they're using them more and they're learning how to fight together, um, how to work together as a team. So that whole aspect of the show is a lot bigger this year. It's got a lot more scope, a lot more powers. A lot um, more time for Stephanie and I to learn about visual effects yeah. <laughs> and spend time looking at visual effects shots. More dinosaur. Mm -hmm. What is it like for these kids who have to be on the run with a dinosaur? It's definitely complicated. Yeah. Um, obviously, these the are kids. Shopping cart is involved. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, obviously, these kids grew up, you know, uh, in Brentwood, uh, accustomed to a life of privilege and wealth and comfort, and now they're living on the streets, trying to figure out how do we even eat. But it was part of why we wanted to pick the story up right after we left off season one, because we really wanted to be with the kids on this journey and see them struggle and see how they try to learn how to survive on the streets. So uh, in the comic books, it was a huge plot twist that Alex sort of betrays the group without giving away any spoilers, because I already see it. Uh, is that maybe something we'll explore or maybe the cast you know, is looking for as they're reading the script? Let's just put it this way. I, I don't think you can have six kids who can't agree on anything to begin with and not have a situation where trust isn't a big issue. Uh, and whether that's earned or whether that's something that is there to just complicate matters or whether or not that's actually what's happening, that is season two.